What's up, y'all? Sparty here. So for this video, I want to talk about the Beat Studio Buds here. Um, now, I've covered Beats a couple times on this channel. I think I did do the um, the Beats Studio. I think they call that. Are they called the Beat Studio Flex? I don't remember. I think I covered those. Um, I covered the. Um, Apologies for the wet spot. I literally have a Gatorade right here. But, um, I covered the, uh, the Beat Studio Wireless 3. And now I'm covering the Studio Buds here. Um, a lot of people have been talking about these mainly because they're really interesting. Um, in a good way, not in a bad way <laughs> at all. Um, for one, not only they're like the most cross platform Apple has ever gotten for one, um, for like <laughs> they're compatible with things like Google fast pair. Um, literally when you come on, damn it. Literally, things like the notification panel and the notification for the battery come up, and it's literally popping up on my G8 here. Um, it gives you the battery levels and all that stuff right there. Um, goes to the Google Fast Pair, like I said. The app allows you to control things like the ambient mode and what your left and right do, which basically only give you control over the voice assistant or the, um, or the noise canceling. So yeah, first what I'll get out the way is let the specs here. Um, I do still have the box. So Five, you get five hours of battery life with the ANC on, eight hours of battery life with the ANC off. Um, that's really nice. Um, 10 hours, 10 hours in the case when you're using ANC, 16 hours when you're not using ANC. And obviously they added up right there too, just to show you guys. Um, and that's very nice. Um, I do like the overall feel of, the case in particular, it feels very nice. It does kind of look, it does kind of give you the AirPods Pro-esque look, but it obviously looks more Beats-like. People have said it just basically looks like a Beats pill, and that's kind of more emblematic of what, I'm not even holding it in the frame, sorry. <laughs> it's kind of emblematic of how Beats does things, and like I said, it's very understated. It is, it is obviously plastic, basically every single true wireless earbud case, aside from a select few, have our plastic cases. It depend like on it, but it what varies is texture and the and things like that. And this is very smooth. It feels like a pebble. Um, doesn't necessarily feel like you're gonna break it or anything like that. But obviously, honestly, it feels fine. You get USB C on the bottom right here. Um, very nice. <laughs> um, Beast has always used USB C, so that's been very good. Um, and. I really have no issue with anything in terms of the case. The only problem, the only thing that I would see people don't like, no wireless charging on the case. Like I could, I could literally show you guys right here. So, um, wireless power share. Nothing. And just for a comparison, I'm going to grab the, um, the uh, XM4s right here, and as you guys can see, it's wirelessly charging. So there's no wireless charging with the case right here. Fine, it's not that big of a deal for me personally. To me, honestly, it's just a cool feature to have, but it's not necessarily a deal breaker for me. Um, so let's talk about the overall look of them. Um, they look very nice. I really do like the look of them as well. Um, they go into your ear pretty much like an IEM. There's really no issue with that at all for me personally. Um, well, the phone is not focusing. Whatever. Um, 
yeah. They just go in, they plop in, and there's really no issue there. Um, the ANC on this is good. Um, not the best out there. I'd say it's pretty much what well, I don't know what I'd say it's on par with, but I do feel like it's slightly below something like the Galaxy Buds Pro or the AirPods Pro. But still, that's very good. It does a very good job at canceling out like the low and mid noises, high end noises, it's like voices and things like that. You're still going to be able to hear. The only headphones I've a I've ever used that does that really well are obviously the XM4s. But honestly, it's not that big of a deal for me. It does a decent enough job, and if you have it at a high enough volume level, you while listening to music or something like that, you're not going to have a problem. Um, no EQ settings on here from what I can see. The Beats app is fairly basic, and I think that's kind of going to be something that people are not going to like, but it gets the job done. Um, let me see something real quick. Uh, it's just a message. But, uh, <laughs> um, and I would honestly just like to see that. I would honestly like to see them add EQ options to the, uh, into the app. Not that I don't like the stock sound that comes out of these. I do feel like what comes out in terms of the sound is quite good. But for those that like to EQ their stuff, it would honestly be nice to just have that out of the box naturally, rather than having to do it through a third party app or through the phone's EQ if your phone has an EQ settings. So, you know, um, ambient mode, ambient mode's good. Um, let me demo it. Let me test it right now because I actually haven't tested it all that much. <laughs> People are... No, I don't want to play music. All right. Okay, so the ambient mode is not amazing. I'll say that. Um, let me see. It's definitely not the best out here. Um, you don't get any sort of way to uh, adjust it or anything like that. It's very digital. It's not terrible or anything. Like it's. I'd say... Hmm. No, it's quite digital. I'd say it's on par with something like the Galaxy Buds Pro. And the Galaxy Buds Pro, I feel the problem that I have with those. Let me turn this off because it's actually get it's actually getting to me. But uh, the pro like s s pretty much a similar issue that I have with the Galaxy Buds Pro is that it's just a very digital sounding ambient mode. Whereas, say something like the Tone Free FN7s, the the um, AirPods Pro, which are lauded for their ambient mode or the transparency mode, or the, the XM4s, which have a very good natural ambient mode as well. Um, it's not as good, but you got to keep in mind the price. I think they're $150. Let me check. Apologies, my homeboy got a, uh, got a car. But uh, let me uh, <laughs> let me get to this here. Um, pricing. I'll go to Amazon here real quick. Um, Beats Studio Buds. Yeah, they're one forty nine ninety five. So honestly, for that price, I feel like they're they're kind of a steal. I'll get into the sound here real quick. Um. I think the sound on this beats are known to be very bassy and bass that pretty much says screw all the other frequencies, right? <laughs> screw your mids, screw your highs. We're just going to give you a whole bunch of bass. These don't do that. You still get a very good amount of bass. You still get that beats bass, but it doesn't go through vocals at all it doesn't take away the bass doesn't take away from the vocals it doesn't take away from any sort of more intricate details that you would hear 
out of any sort of other side of the earbud, say if you're listening to a track like um, After Hours by The Weeknd or something like that, you're going to be able to hear the little crackling sounds that go on, like the little record crackling sounds that you hear at the beginning of that song. They're, they're, they're th- or it's not at the beginning. It's more like 45 seconds in or something like that. You'll hear it, but it's, these are fairly detailed and for podcasts and things like that, I do feel like you get a good amount of clarity when it comes to the vocals as well. It, it, they're not distorted. They don't sound too bassy or anything like that. They sound very good. Um, I really do like these a lot. <laughs> Um, when it comes to comparing them to something like the FN, I was about to say the FN4s, the XM4s, um, obviously the XM4s damn near double the price. Um, you get, you definitely get industry lead, and I'm not just reading that off the box, literally industry leading voice, noise cancellation, very good ANC, very, very good ambient mode. Um, you get a very detailed app that gives you control over pretty much everything on the earbud aside from very limited, you know, touch controls when it comes to say <laughs> what you want to do with each side of the earbud. Um, you do get clicky, you, you do get button controls, like hard button controls on these, which I do like as well. Um, and they're just nice. I really do think, I really do recommend these. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, they're the best thing ever. But um, if you don't necessarily, if, if you've had AirPods before, don't really like the sound. Because I know a lot of people don't really like the sound of AirPods, uh, AirPods Pro. People think they sound a little bit too basic. Um, I do feel like these can give you that little bit of excitement and oomph into your music. Um, they're comfortable. Obviously, that'll vary depending on the individual. But for me, they were totally fine. I don't really have any sort of issue with them at all. Um, yeah. Nice. Um, this is Sparta. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for support. Hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday or whatever time of day it is in the area. Like the video if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. Share with people that are interested in this sort of content. Thanks for da- Thanks for almost 1,070 subscribers. I really do appreciate it. Have a good one.